Welcome to another Keyshot 9 quick tip. In this video, we'll talk about using Keyshot 9's new fuzz feature to add fuzz geometry to your Keyshot projects. Keyshot 9's new fuzz feature introduces the ability to add fuzz to any material, as well as create extensive unique effects such as hair, grass, and even emissive fibers. To get started, choose a surface that you wish to add fuzz to, and apply your desired base material to that surface. Then open the material in the material graph to add fuzz geometry. With the material graph window open, you should see the root material node as well as the surface material node displayed in the work area. To add fuzz, right click on the material graph work area to trigger a secondary drop down list. Once selected, attach the new geometry node to the geometry input on your material node and execute geometry. This will allow you to preview how the default settings will affect your object surface. To adjust fuzz settings, double click on your fuzz geometry node to open the adjustment options on the right side of the material graph. Under the property sub tab, you'll notice that several aspects of the fibers can be adjusted. If you're familiar with real cloth flyaways, then many of these settings will be very familiar. Let's take a brief look at what each of these settings does to our fuzz application. Starting from the top, we have length, length variation, and randomness. Length determines the base length fibers will protrude from the material surface, while length variation will determine how varied the fiber lengths will be. Randomness will further vary your fibers by randomizing the direction each fiber protrudes from the material. The next three options below are radius, density, and segments. Radius will determine the thickness of each fiber, while density controls the amount of fibers per millimeter of surface area. If you adjust the segment slider, you will affect the number of direction shifts that occur per fiber, helping to further randomize your applied surface fuzz. When adjusting these settings, be sure to update your geometry nodes after each adjustment to ensure the image accurately reflects your settings. Currently, my speaker housing appears to be a hard, matte surface with a vinyl label applied to the front. However, my goal is to create a wool-like material. To do this, I'll go ahead and connect my fuzz geometry node and make any necessary adjustments. I'll then execute geometry nodes and let my image res up to get an accurate preview of my final settings. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 quick tip. Let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.